In the modern Mai Tai world, it doesn't get bigger than this. We're doing the Smuggler's Cove Mai Tai from Smuggler's Cove in San Francisco. Next to the Trader Vic's Mai Tai, the Smuggler's Cove Mai Tai is probably the most well-known 1944 style Mai Tai. Today, the recipe seems pretty commonplace, a great representation of the classic Mai Tai. But at the time the Smuggler's Cove book came out, this style of Mai Tai was not as common and not on the menu at every single tiki and tropical bar. It's the extreme popularity of the book that has made this so common out in the world and brought it into so many home bartenders like me and like you. If you read the book, there's a line calling this really just a nutty rum margarita. And that's how I view making all Mai Tais. Even though recipes can change slightly, the one we are about to make is different from what I am about to say. I view the Mai Tai as a margarita in a two one one ratio. Two part spirit, one part lime, one part sweet. The two part spirit being rum, one part lime, even though Smuggler's Cove uses three quarter ounces, most Mai Tais are either three quarter to one ounce of lime juice, and then one part sweet. And that's orange curacao or jade, maybe even a simple or rock candy syrup, whatever ratio or combination you want, adding up to a total one ounce, usually. The rum used in this one is Denison Merchants Reserve. It's a collaboration between Denison and Martin Kate and is made to emulate the second adjusted Mai Tai formula from Trader Vic's when he first used a molasses based rum from Martinique to recreate the flavor of the J. Ray and Nephew 17 year old rum. For this one, you'll need lime juice, Mai Tai rich simple syrup, or Jat Pierre Ferrand dry curacao, and Denison Merchants Reserve rum. To make the Mai Tai rich simple syrup, combine two cups of water with four cups of demerara sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. If you don't want to go to all the trouble to make the Mai Tai rich simple syrup, a two to one demerara will do as a substitute. The Smuggler's Cove demerara syrup is not a standard demerara syrup, so if you're looking at that one, and has less demerara sugar than a typical two to one demerara simple, so they're not the same. If you want to be exact here, you can make your own Smuggler's Cove or Jat, but to be honest with you, I am or jatted out. I have made four to five batches in the last couple of weeks, and I'm tired. I'm going to use my 60 second or jot, which I'll leave a link to in the episode's description. The only real noticeable difference is that I added in a small amount of almond extract, which they do not. If you are buying or jot, I think Liber and Co is probably the closest to the Smuggler's Cove homemade version than any of the other brands. We're going to build this into small shaker tins, starting with three quarter ounces of lime juice, a quarter ounce of our Mai Tai rich simple syrup, a quarter ounce of Orjat, half an ounce of Pierre Brand dry curacao, and two ounces of our Denison Merchants Reserve rum. Just shake it for five to 10 seconds. Smuggler's Cove Mai Tai, the quintessential modern day Mai Tai. Now let's take a drink of this. And as you all know, the spent lime shell in there to add some color, also to signify maybe an island, and then the mint, the palm trees, but really the mint are there for you to take this, bring it close to your face, make sure your straw is positioned accordingly next to the mint so you can put that mint straight into your face. So what is there to be said about the Smuggler's Cove Mai Tai? Well, first, it is one of the best cocktails 
in the world. That's not my opinion. That's just a fact. This is what you should compare all other Mai Tais to. And maybe you have a recipe that you like a little better than this. That's totally fine. But this should be the baseline for any modern day Mai Tai. This drink drinks like the ingredients that are in it from the you know most prominent to the least. Just rum is the first thing you get, followed by the lime juice. You can taste the orange curacao, which often get lost in Mai Tais. And just that subtle hint of the orgeat in the background. Now, why Martin Kate decided to use a Mai Tai rich simple syrup instead of something more like a rock candy? I don't know. Uh, if I ever have the opportunity, I would ask that because that is adding in more of those molasses notes. I don't know if that's to add on to the rum. But for me, it's not something that I'm picking up. It's kind of like hitting you in the face. But that's something where you're going to want to taste test this against one that doesn't have that if you really want to find out the differences that that make in this Mai Tai. So there you go. The Smuggler's Cove Mai Tai, a quintessential Mai Tai in the 1944 Mai Tai style. If you come across people who say, I don't like Mai Tais, make them this. That will change their opinion about the Mai Tai. That's it for this one. Let's put the Mai Tai from Smuggler's Cove on the Mai Tai board. It is one of the best. It's the best. It just is. It is the king of the Mai Tais, in my opinion. And that's it for this one. I'm Derek. This is Make and Drink. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like below. Consider subscribing to the channel. And otherwise, see you on the next one. When the dusk is falling in the sunset glow